Okay. So this year, my project was a mobile application to uh, assist the blind and visually impaired with small texts on things such as medical bottles and you know other things such as grocery items. Because a lot of times, if someone's visually impaired, it's really important to get to know when you're reading instructions or reading expiration dates. It matters to your health and to your well-being. So I designed a mobile application that if you put your phone near one of these items, it will read aloud the text. And it'll support in you know all sorts of products and uh, items. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. My project for this year is a fifth year continuation project. And for this year, I did the testing of efficiencies of brushless outrunner motors for a sol solar powered surface ROV. Thank you. Wow. Um, hello, I also did a continuation project of my project from last year. So many times medicinal creams, they lose their stability during storage and transportation. So they're ineffective for people to use. So I added hemp oil and CBD oil to these creams to see if that would help increase their stability during transportation and storage. And my results show that they did. Thank you. So uh, I created a device that could track wh whether you wash your hands when you go to the restroom or not. <laughs> so this way we can uh, prevent the spread of germs and diseases such as COVID-19. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so I created a device, I created a device that can tra uh, measure carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and um, I attached it to a drone so it could uh, like fly up and measure it in the air. Yeah. I designed different ovens to test which one would be the most efficient to send to third world countries so, they, so girls were able to go to school, stay safe, and have clean food and water. I tested to see what the most potent greenhouse gas out of methane, nitrous oxide, and carbon dioxide were. Um, and this was very important because currently global warming is a big deal in our planet and we need to find some way to stop it. And a big part of it is figuring out what greenhouse gas is the most potent to our environment, which is nitrous oxide. Thank you. 